As cancer care evolves and advances, researchers can now better treat cancer based on the genomic changes in a tumor rather than where it originates in the body. Dr. Marsha Bros and TRK Fusion Cancer patient Nicole Miller are here to explain what that means. Thanks to both of you for being here. Thanks for having us. Uh, Sorry, doc thank you. <laughs> Dr. Bro, starting with you, what is uh, genomic testing and how is it really changing the course of cancer care? Um, well, genomic testing is when we take a piece of a patient's cancer and we look and see are there any alterations in the DNA level of that, of that cancer. Because if we can find those alterations, many times those are the cause of the cancer. They're the reason why the cells start dividing uncontrollably. So genomic testing is looking for those changes and it's changing cancer care because now we're finding agents that can directly target that underlying cause regardless where in the body the tumor originated. In the past, we looked at it as lung cancer or breast cancer and they had different therapies but now if they have the same genetic alteration as an underlying reason we actually will direct our therapy based on that DNA alteration instead. And I mentioned TRK fusion cancer. Can you describe to our audience what that is? So TRK fusions are one of the different kinds of alterations we might find where the track gene is put together abnormally with another gene and because of that abnormal putting together it actually upregulates track activity in the cell and by doing that now the cell grows uncontrollably so it's a marker for a specific subtype it's very rare um, but when we find it it actually is the one that we'll be talking about today. And Nicole, tell us uh, just a brief idea uh, of your journey and your diagnosis. I know this isn't easy to talk about, but uh, I'm glad you're willing. Absolutely. So in 2014, in the fall, I found a knot in my leg and went and had it looked at by my doctor, found out that it was indeed a tumor called soft tissue sarcoma. From there, we w went through the traditional cancer th treatments. I had chemotherapy and then I had the tumor removed from my leg. Unfortunately, while I was in the hospital recovering from the surgery to remove the tumor, we found that it had moved to my lungs and my lungs were rapidly filling up with tumors to the point that I had I had to go on oxygen and I was in a wheelchair. And we really didn't know what to do from that point. At that point, my doctor decided to look back at the testing that I had had and she found that I did have this genetic panel and that panel showed that TRK fusion was the underlying cause of my cancer. So from there, she went and found what kind of treatments were available. This clinical trial that had started, I was a perfect match for. So we went to Denver and upon arrival, I was still very sick, but after six weeks on the drug, which is called lortractinib, I was able to go horseback riding with my fa family, and then now I'm two years with no evidence of cancer. Hmm. Wow, congratulations on beating it. It's, it's so wonderful to hear success mm -hmm. stories like this, and it's all thanks to this fantastic uh, research and this new treatment, doctor. In the last uh, 30 seconds, what do you have uh, to leave us with? I just would say anybody who has cancer and that it's not been cured, they should ask their oncologist to get genomic testing and if they have any alterations to look up and find what targeted therapies might be available. Dr. Marsha Bros and Nicole Miller, thanks to both of you so much for joining me. Thank thanks you. For, thanks for having us. Of course. Stay where you are. We'll be right back.